Hey guys, so this video is gonna be about the time I switched from business to engineering. And I wanna share this with you guys before I forget. I know as time goes on and the further I get away from you know school, I'm gonna forget about it. And I'm gonna forget exactly why I did it. And this is just me documenting what happened and why I did what I did. And I also feel like this is gonna be helpful for people who are in between majors or can't decide what they wanna do or where they wanna go in life because I was there and that's what this is about. <laughs> so let's just get into it and start with story time. I graduated high school in 2014 and applied to my local university for business. Three years into my business major and only one year away, I do something crazy and I switch <laughs> over to engineering and do it all over again. And that was 2017 when I switched. I had to take a bunch of science and math classes that I never thought I would ever have to take again. And yeah, it was just a lot of work to catch up on. And three years later, here I am, December 2020. Well, past December, but I'm graduated now, recently. So that's the timeline of what happened. So why did I make the switch? Honestly, this is very personal to me because there were a lot of reasons why I switched. It was a very, very important time in my life. Like it was a turning point where I decided to start caring about myself. Uh, as of then, I wasn't taking care of myself physically, socially, mentally. I was definitely just free falling in life. And I was just in a bad place. And after a while, I had some life changes right at that moment in 2017. And I decided I was gonna like, you know, say screw it to uh, business and do something that kind of intrigues me. It pays off, uh, hopefully. I mean, it does take work, but uh, yeah, that's why I made the switch for personal reasons. <laughs> How different was engineering school compared to business school? I mean, there's some obvious ones. Ones I wanna talk about are the environment and the people there. Uh, in business school, they were just different vibes, you know? They, they, we weren't on the same wavelength. And that also has to do with the fact that I wasn't taking care of myself mentally. But uh, it's just a whole nother breed of people. <laughs> and the classes and subjects were entirely different. In business school, I felt like I was bullshit all the time mainly because I was, but in engineering, you really can't, you know, bluff your way through it. Like you either know it or you don't. <laughs> and that's what I liked about it. It's just very technical and just like, it's so black and white. There's a wrong and right answer and homework and tests. It was, it's, uh, it's really hard to cram for something like engineering. I feel like, I mean, don't get me wrong. I still did it, but it wasn't to the extent as I did in business school. I feel like business school, you don't even really have to study to do decent. But uh, that's just my take. Not to throw shade at business, but you know, it's not that hard compared to engineering. So what was the hardest part of engineering school? Whew. I'd have to say learning how to study. At that point, I didn't really study. In high school, it's pretty easy to just game the system. It's not that hard. Like you're just regurgitating stuff and you're not really learning as much as you are just like remember, like uh, what's it called? Memorizing, yeah. You're just memorizing stuff for one week, two weeks, and then you just forget about it. Another thing was critical thinking and problem solving requires you to ask a lot of good questions. And school was teaching me to ask the right questions or just ask questions in general. Uh, it's really important to question everything <laughs> and not just taking everything at face value and just be like, it's right because it's right. You know, just like, why is it right? Why does it work a certain way? So that was definitely a huge thing to like overcome and try to learn to do that. Uh, I still struggle with it now, but I mean, it's a work in progress. Uh, next question, did I feel left behind? At the beginning, I'll admit, I did feel like I was really behind. And it's like a huge mountain that I haven't even started on yet. And it's easy to get lost if you're just focused on how far you are from the top. So what I did was just like keep my head down and just focus on the next step. Like, what do I do after this class? what's the next assignment and just churn it out like that. Because if I was so focused on how far I was, I, I don't think I would have done it because another three years of school sounded like torture. And also something that helped is that over time you realize all your friends and peers like from high school, they don't really care what's going on in your life. Everyone's so focused on themselves and self-centered as they should. We, are, we all are the main characters of our own story. It, honestly doesn't matter what people think about you what really matters is what you think of yourself so the past three years i've gotten really deep into self-development 
and just positive thinking. So, and exercising helps a lot with that. Like, I, I don't feel bad about it. I don't feel bad about le being left behind. I don't see it that way. I really think it's the way you see yourself. And yeah, that's, that, that's it. Okay, the next question is, were those three years a waste of time? No, they weren't. Like I said, it's the way you think about it. Okay, next question. My advice on changing majors or picking a new major. What I have to say about this is that you should take some time to figure out who you are and what you want. And by figuring out who you are, I mean like what hobbies do you like? What do you like to do on your free time? I feel like that is a great indicator as to like what you should do or dedicate yourself to do for the next couple of years because that's how I did engineering. That, well, that's how I fell on engineering. At the time I was doing like a lot of like woodworking and hands off and stuff and I realized something I took away from like woodworking was having a physical product of like my like of my imagination. <laughs> the main reason I went with civil over all the other disciplines because I want to like drive down the road and say like hey, I helped make that building or that structure or you know that garage deck uh, that's what I want. I want to be like able to visually see my work come to life. What are you willing to struggle for? Because not everyone is willing to put in the work to become smart, to have a great relationship with your significant other without having those other negative side effects of like putting in hours of studying, having those awkward conversations with your partner. It's definitely a give and take. And that's what I mean by picking your struggle because it's gonna have a lot of benefits and it's also gonna have a lot of cons to it. So pick your struggle. And I decided to pick engineering. I definitely struggled with this. It's still something I have to work on, but I picked the struggle. So it's just something to think about. What do you wanna do? Like how much work are you willing to put in for blank? And yeah, just think about it. It may take you a couple of days, may take you a couple of years. It took me a couple of years. So don't feel pressure to figure it out right away, but just try to figure it out. Uh, I think that's more important than anything. Just try some things out. Anyways, I'm done preaching. Thank you for following along and listening to me share my story. Uh, I appreciate it. Uh, <laughs> if you have any thoughts or ideas on any other videos I should make, please let me know. And yeah, I'll see you on the next one.